Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to be doing a review of the Flip Minnow HD. Now, uh, this is an incredibly small video camera. I picked it up for the filming on my vlog that I wanted to do, and I didn't feel like carrying around this big camera that it's being filmed with. Now, zoom in a little bit so you can actually see the camera correctly. It's a very small camera. It's got a pretty nice lens on it, obviously due to the fact that it's an HD cam. It's got uh, some digital zoom on it. That's the back of it. Small screen here. Turn it on. Now it is a small screen, but it's actually a very nice screen. It does a good job of, uh, let's see my random crap I've got over there for the rest of the review. It does a good job of showing you what's what. Uh, good quality for the small size. As for the buttons, large red button. Push it. Starts recording. Push it. Stops recording. And there's a play button to go back. And uh, when you're in the play menu, you can actually push up and down on the zoom button to uh, raise and lower the volume. Right here is the delete button, which when you're on the main front, deletes all if you want to, which in this case is no. And once again, the middle button does that. If you want to zoom in, just simply, oh no, we're still in the play menu. There we go. There's the audio for you. Now, press the middle button to go back to the uh, recording, point it at something, and uh, press the up arrow. Or if I can get this, there we go. Press the up arrow to zoom in, or well, it's actually a plus and a minus to zoom out once again. And uh, it does a really good job at that. Obviously, it's digital zoom, so there will be a loss of quality uh, in zooming. Now, I got the uh, the eight gigabyte ionized aluminum or adenized or whatever it's a very nice front on it looks very proper right here is the uh, the mic and the speaker they actually glow red on it uh, once again there's the lens here's the actual on button everybody who picks this camera up doesn't seem to realize that that's the on button so we can turn it off right there now the part about this that actually makes it a flip is that how you connect it to the computer is right here flip the switch USB comes right out of it makes it so you can just plug it straight into a computer and uh, it just kind of hangs there it's it's very strong it's very reinforced it has no problems actually uh, on the camera side so uh, you don't need to worry about damaging the camera by hanging on to that now my I actually have a USB extender that I have plugged onto that when I actually plug it into my computer not because I'm worried about the camera but because I'm worried about uh, you know this whole weight here on the end of this long lever on my USB ports and I don't want it damaging my motherboard or case but uh, plugging it right into the side of a laptop or something perfectly good for that. Now as I went over earlier these controls here are very 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 simple press up to zoom in press minus to zoom out forward right for the videos and video 2 video 1 press the delete button delete locked hold hold to unlock and then you can uh, press it again, go over, press play for OK. It deletes the video. Incredibly simple. Now these are actual, uh, they're not actual buttons. The play and the delete button are indented, and the other ones are just uh, touch sensitive. There's only actual two buttons, this button and the on button, and the flip switch if you want to get technical. But uh, I really, I mean, it's nice for look, and when you're actually using it, it works very nice. But the point of this camera is you're going to be holding it out like this, filming yourself a lot. And I find that in the process of doing so, I managed to hit the play button an awful lot. Or actually, I hit the delete button. And I'll look back and it'll say, like, delete all video, yes, no. And I'll be like, oh, God. <laughs> so uh, I would prefer if it actually had uh, real buttons on it. But they're perfectly fine the way they are. Now, as for the quality of the audio and video of this camera itself, here you can see my old camera, or well, it's not really old, it's not actually being replaced. The Sony Handycam HDD DCR SR47. Now, uh, the main reason that I'm going to continue using that one is because it has 60x optical zoom and ridiculous focus. This camera is fixed focus, so you get closer and uh, it doesn't actually focus in. So, anywhere from about uh, two feet, foot and a half out, you're all good. Now, uh, this camera shoots very nice quality video. Uh, when, and when it's in a very still environment, you get really good video, especially in a high light 
situations such as this. Uh, for the rest of the view, I'm going to or for the rest of the video, pretty much, I'm going to continue using this. This is the box that actually came in. Just uh, has a picture of it on the front side, inside of the box. Bottom of it tells you uh, that you need a computer that doesn't explode upon turning on. All that good stuff. Over here is a little uh, pouch. Came with it. Came with it. Open it up. Camera goes in. Pull this zip cord. It's got a little slider on it. Does the job, makes it so it goes in your pocket and kind of makes it less uh, sharp in your pocket and uh, helps it uh, avoid scratches. There's uh, the box that the thing actually came in, which you opened it up right here, and it would be sitting right there. Pull this out, and there's a box at the bottom where the uh, instruction manuals and the, that, the little uh, case came in. Now, something that's pretty much imperative for this camera, if you want to do still shots, is a tripod. Now, right now, it's on one of my big tripods, but I went out and got this tripod here. And it's just a little tripod. I got this for like $3.20 with free shipping on Amazon. And uh, if I put this on the other camera here, it's just a little tripod that you can use to uh, screw onto the bottom of it and stick it on a... Uh, right on a table. So if you're going to get this, I would suggest picking one of these up. It's just about as cheap as two packs of gum. Now there's a lot of controversy over the Flip as to whether or not you want the Flip, you want the uh, the Flip Mino, the Flip Ultra, or the Kodak ZI8. Now I went with the Flip Mino because in my situation I wanted this to be a small HD camera that is actually small, that's pocketable. As you can see, you can pick it up and put your fingers around it very easily. It's an incredibly small camera. Now because my hands aren't exactly a universal uh, unit for measurement, here it is next to an iPhone. So you see it is actually smaller than the iPhone. It is uh, it's a little bit thicker than it, but uh, everything else is smaller height width. And uh, the phone itself fits in my pocket perfect and so does this. I just find that you put it in the case and it you can carry it around anywhere. Flip Ultra uh, was um, larger, it was much thicker, uh, it shot in a slightly higher uh, color quality, it still shot in 720p, but the color quality was a little bit better, more vibrant, and uh, I don't know, I just picked this one because uh, I liked, liked how it was. Uh, and also over the ZI8, I read a bunch of reviews that were uh, pointing towards the negative of the color quality of it. Uh, this does not have image stabilization, which the Kodak ZI8 does, and uh, that's not really good because uh, you need to hold it incredibly still, which is why I suggest picking one of these suckers up. Oh no! <laughs> because even uh, if you're not using it as a tripod, you can hold it like this with the camera screwed on it, and it's easier to like have a fist around it and hold it still than it is to hold the camera like this. And that also helps if you've got the uh, tripod screwed in the bottom of it and you're holding on to the tripod pointing at you, you're not going to hit any of the buttons. And this can also be used to give you a little bit more of a extended reach or around things. But um, this is definitely my pick out of the three. I've used the Flip Ultra HD. I like it. Uh, but once again, it's just a little bit bigger. It's a small camera. It's more like a traveling camera, one that you throw in a bag, not one you throw in your pocket. Um, this does have stereo audio. I read it on the box, and I thought it was lying because I really didn't think it had stereo because I looked at the audio that it was pushing out, and it looked exactly the same. But I actually, you know, recorded it and went, ah, and spun around it. And it most definitely is stereo. On the bottom of it, you can see right here, that it has an HDMI port, and there's the uh, tripod on it, or a tripod screw. And right there and right here, you see these little nubs? Those are there so that you can actually place it on things. So even if you don't have a tripod, if you have a level surface, it'll be able to stand up on it all by its own. So I would definitely recommend this to anybody who's going to be doing some, uh, ex not, I wouldn't say extensive, but a lot of uh, recording. Like if you're, going, if you're moving around a lot, this is definitely the pick of the bunch. It's, it's good color quality, it's HD, it's very small, it's incredibly simple to use. I can hand it to my friends and say, press the big red button, and they understand how to use it. There's not 16 buttons on it, not 84 modes. Uh, that's a good thing, but one thing that I don't like about that is that there's no option. Uh, when you actually turn it on, it says 
hold uh, the red button for setup. You go into setup, there's, you can set the language, you can set the date, you can set the time, you can tell it whether or not you want it to make sounds when you press the buttons. You can, uh, there's a recording light that lights up right around here when, uh, when it's recording. You can tell it whether you want that to be on or off, and that's it. Uh, not much to go wrong when you go through those settings, but uh, they're for a more higher-end user like myself or some other tech person. I would like to be able to go in there and uh, manually set microphone levels, uh, maybe change the white balance, because there is an auto white balance and there's absolutely no way to change it. Um, but it's pretty good at, at auto white balancing. Or perhaps go in and put it into 480p mode instead of uh, being locked at 720 at all times. Uh, just a few things. Uh, after buying this, the uh, the Flip Slide HD came out, which is this, but thicker and a little bit bigger, and it has a big screen right here that actually slides up, which the point of it sliding is so that you can put it down and look at it, and personally, I don't understand why. It's just a bigger screen, and it's touchscreen, so like this, the problem that I have with these buttons being touchscreen is like that, with all of them, you, uh, you can kind of reach back and be like, oh, there's the red button, where's the rest of them? But uh, yeah, rather long review of a simple little camera, but like to go in depth. So uh, tell me all what you guys think. If you guys have one of these, which ones do you have and why? Tell me in a comment. Um, go right up, uh, where, are we? where are we? Right here. Click right there. Check out my vlog, Ski Carl's Life, of me and my friends doing ridiculous stuff. That vlog has been recorded on this camera and there's extensively different types of footage. Uh, went to an aquarium and recorded a bunch of fish. There was uh, me and my friends uh, playing music, recording like a live band. That's in there. Another thing about this camera is the audio on it is really good. When it gets loud, it turns down the audio levels to an acceptable point. Unless you're right next to somebody playing drums, at that point it clips a little bit but you can go in post-production and fix that perfectly fine so it does really really good audio on this outputs in uh, mp4 and uh, does all that really nice so if you want to go see any of that footage you can go up there ski carlos life and uh, check it out a whole bunch outside inside around dark light so uh, that's just about it so uh, please comment rate and subscribe and i will see you all later